Good morning, I'm Brother Jason, and this is the Baptist Catechism. Question 53 asks us, what is forbidden in the first commandment? What did God forbid by saying, you shall have no other gods before me? The answer, the first commandment forbids us to deny or not to worship and glorify the true God as God and our God, and to give that worship and glory to any other, which is due to him alone. God doesn't want us worshiping some other gods and proclaiming those other false gods to be the one true God. It forbids us to deny that worship that is due him to him. So what God wants us to do is just worship him. So let's take a look at some scriptures to understand a little bit about what God was telling the people there. Joshua chapter 24, verse 27, Joshua tells the people, and Joshua said to all the people, Behold, this stone shall be a witness against us. For it has heard all the words of the Lord which he spoke to us. Thus it shall be for a witness against you, so that you do not deny your God. And so when Joshua and the children of Israel came into the the promised land, they set up a a stone of witness. They pronounced blessings on one mountain, curses on another mountain. They set up stones of witness. And that was a a visible witness. You can actually still go and there's the, the remains of this stone that Joshua set up. I think it's in uh, Gilgal or one of these other places over there. But but you can actually go and see where this stone is at. It's a witness, a witness that would endure for generations that the people had heard the words of the Lord and they would either they would be judged by that. They'd be condemned by it if they didn't keep it. They would be rewarded by it if they did. And so Joshua was reminding, hey, look, you heard the words of the Lord. He spoke against you. This is what he was going to do if you didn't honor him. Uh, so that you don't deny your God. And this is what God didn't want his people to do. He didn't want them to deny who he was. They had on many occasions, and they would on many occasions after that. But that's the challenge, right? We recognize that God is the true God. Will we give him the praise and honor and glory due his name, or will we deny him? So the Bible is a witness against us. The Bible is a witness against the entire world. God is the one true God. The question is whether or not people will give him the praise and honor and glory to his name because he is the one true God. Romans chapter 1, verse 20 and 21. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes, attributes, his eternal power and divine nature have clearly been seen, being understood through through what has been made so that they are without excuse. For even though they knew God, they did not honor God as God or give thanks, but they became futile in their speculations and their foolish hearts were darkened. Professing to be wise, they became fools, and exchanged the glory of the incorruptible God for an image in the form of corruptible man or of birds or four-footed animals and crawling creatures. Therefore God gave them over to the lusts of their hearts to impurity so that their bodies would be dishonored among them. For they exchanged the truth of God for a lie and worshipped and served the creature rather than the creator who is forever blessed. Amen. And let's just be honest, even from ancient history, man has always been monotheistic to start with. It's been a slow, sometimes quick process in various cultures for them to move from the monotheism of the one worship of the one true God to worshiping that which is not really God at all. Man-made idols, beasts and creatures, and Paul even says here, you know, they they made them. They, they, they made them in the image of corruptible man. They made them in the image of birds and animals and crawling creatures. And there's gods all over the world that people worship. Uh, Hindus worship cows. You know, I mean, it's just you go through all the cultures and different religions. There's a lot of animism in, in Africa and other places. There are people that worship other things other than God from the beginning of creation. Who God is has been clearly understood by the things that have been made. Even though they didn't know who that God was, they still could understand that there was a God there. So because people did not want to honor God or give thanks to him, they became futile in their speculations. Their heart became foolish and it was darkened. They professed to be wise. In reality, they were becoming fools and they they changed from the truth of God to a lie. And so God gave them over to the impurity of their hearts, and they followed that. They exchanged the truth of God for a lie, and worships and served the creator rather than the creature rather than the creator. This is what God was trying to get the children of Israel to avoid. Worship the Lord only. Don't worship other things. There is but one God. Psalm 14, verse 1 says, The fool has said in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt. They have committed abominable deeds. There is no one who does good. And when we worship 
something other than the one true God, we become the foolish man. The person who is an atheist who says there is no God just so that he can cover his sin and cover cover his uh, things that he wants to do for his own pleasure, he's basically saying, I, I just deny the existence of a God who's going to hold me accountable. Even if he denies that God exists, God still does, and God's looking down from heaven and saying, you're a fool. You, you, you're, you're not that smart guy that you think you are. You are committing abominable deeds, and the Lord does look down from heaven, and this is the, the case for all mankind. There is no one who does good. There's no one who hasn't committed some form of idolatry where we serve a God other than the one true God. The first commandment was written so that we would know, don't do that. Worship the one true God. Question 53 asks us, what is forbidden in the first commandment? The first commandment forbids us to deny or not worship and glorify the true God as God and our God, and to give that worship and glory to any other which is due to him alone. 